The key takeaways from our article are that the incidence in cutaneous melanoma has drastically increased in both middle-aged males and females between 1970 and 2020. My name is Dr. Elliot Campbell, and I'm a senior resident associate in the Department of Dermatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'll be staying on next year for a fellowship in micrographic surgery and dermatologic oncology, and I have an interest in melanoma. The name of our article being published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings is Increasing Incidence and Decreasing Mortality of Cutaneous Melanoma in Middle-Aged Adults, an Epidemiologic Study in Olmsted County, Minnesota. Overall, our population has experienced an 11-fold increase since 1970. Breaking it down by sex, females have experienced an over 5,200% increase and males an only 620% increase. Female incidence continues to rise in recent years compared to stabilization in males. Our study also demonstrates a significant and consistent decrease in mortality over time, likely due to increased awareness, successful screening programs, and advanced pharmacotherapies and surgical management. A total of 858 patients between 40 and 60 years of age with a first-time primary cutaneous melanoma were identified between 1970 and 2020. Figure 1A demonstrates the incidence in males and females over time. Overall, there was an 11.6-fold increase in this population's incidence of melanoma. In females, there was a 52.1-fold increase, while in males, an only 6.3-fold increase in melanoma. In recent years, between 2005 and 2020, the incidence has stabilized in males and continues to significantly increase in females, with a 150% increase in the last 15 years in females and no increase in males. Among 659 patients with invasive melanoma, 43 deaths occurred due to melanoma. Male sex was significantly associated with an increased risk of death. As we can see in figure 2A, a more recent diagnosis of melanoma was significantly associated with a decreased risk of death due to melanoma, with a hazard ratio of 0.66 per five-year increase in calendar year diagnosis. This study is important clinically, as this data suggests that our screening and treatments are successful due to the continual reduction in mortality. The more recent divergence in males and females suggests that other external factors are at play and indicates that overdiagnosis is not the primary driving factor, since overdiagnosis would likely affect males and females equivalently. One logical difference between these populations is the exposure to tanning beds in females. Providers should continue to recommend against this practice. The major takeaway for patients is that melanoma is more prevalent than ever. There are clearly female behaviors in the middle-aged population which are increasing this incidence of melanoma. One such behavior is tanning beds and sun exposure. We know that both of these are major drivers of melanoma and are also avoidable. So we encourage avoidance of tanning beds and the use of broad spectrum sunscreens for daily use. In terms of next steps, our team is currently publishing on the young and elderly populations we are also combining this data to tell the story of our population as a whole. Additional population-based studies are required to help determine the impact of external factors such as tanning bed use on melanoma, as well as to continue to monitor how screening and management is impacting our population. Thank you so much for your attention. Please see our publication in the May 2023 issue of Mayo Clinic Proceedings for further details on how these trends in incidence and mortality of melanoma may impact our population and your practice. Thank you very much. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. 
This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.